How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today I thought I would do a discussion video talking about the FIBAS Research Day that happened a, a, like a couple days ago. Now, I know that a lot of YouTubers give negative opinions about this one, but I thought I would be one of the first to give positive things about this uh, event. So, uh, by the way, I am being with um, my, my friend here, so go ahead and introduce yourself. This is uh, Jeff Lee. Yep. So what we're doing in today's video is, like I said, we're going to give our like honest opinions about this event and so forth. So don't go over because not only do we have a lot to say, but also to cover. All right. So now getting to today's video. So to start off with, um, well, I like like I said, there's a lot of negative things about this event, but I feel like 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 I already said, positive things here. So what are your positive uh, opinion about the uh, the FIBAS Research Day event? Yeah, I agree with you right there. So, the, for me, I can say what I lo really like about this one is it gets a Niantic an uh, idea for us that they're willing to do a similar event with the Day Community Day. Because remember, last year when they introduced Community Day event, then they started doing it monthly. And I feel like that's going to kind of same thing happen with Research Day. Really? So, yeah, I I'm hoping they do a uh, next month uh, Research uh, re Event Day. Except I was a little bit better communication. What they should do is do the ones that people missed and just kind of involve everything into one research day for everybody to go to. Yeah, I, I, I can see what you're saying there. So, getting to, so you're saying that the research event day should be where players get together to go to this one research. But I feel like that the, even though, yes, I do agree that everyone should get a shiny, but I feel like that beats the point of it. And it's like, like um, for Squirtle uh, event day, where there was like one Pokestop that gave the research, and that was the one that was gave a shiny. And I do like that the fun of this, that, it, that the shiny is random, and that you can't expect the shiny to be so easy that it's pretty rare for everybody else. So, like, let's say, for example, that I was with you, we went to a Pokestop, and we spent it exact same research, you, you end up getting a shiny, I didn't get a shiny, and then we later on, that I, I got a shiny. I, I agree. The, the good thing about the feedback event that I liked is that most of the, the, most of the staff you spun actually gave you the quest for him. And unlike all the rest of them, they kind of like skipped a few, and then you had to kind of search more for the squirtle, whatever else that they had for them. Yeah. So um, I can see where players that they, they want the they want events to be more of like players get together to events, but like I said, that usually researches like for Mew and Celebi, you usually have to do it alone. But there, but the only one particular one is the Celebi one, I believe. It's the one where you have to make this certain amount of friends. Yeah, that's, well, on, on that note, I think they should make it so the people that don't have don't have them yet that they can do a co-op mission for them. That way. One person can do one of the quest things, and another person can do the other one. That way, they can kind of intertwine more with their the people that they have friends. Yeah, and I agree with you right there. Yeah. So, for FIBAS Day, I do agree with people that it should be like a, they should extend the event for like a weekend thing. So, for for me personally, it. I really don't know because that'll feel like almost back at that um, EV community event. Because remember that was like over the weekend where you could like everybody could get a shiny or more than one or get a ton of shiny EVs. I, yes, that was because it was Saturday and Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was also Friday night because of the uh, Japan getting one. Yeah, 
Yes, that's right. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I like that was a, that was a really good event. Yeah. So, what do you think? Should uh, Feebas should stick with just a one day thing, like a three hour block thing, somewhere of the community, or think it should should be just a, a weekend thing, like people, players are saying? I agree with the weekend thing. It should be it should be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, because um, I, I agree right there that, that there are certain days that I feel it's like way too hard for players to get together. Like, uh, that there has been most of the time last year where the event is only available on Sundays. And it's like, I can't do on Sunday because I'm busy on Sunday. And plus, my friend here is busy on Sunday as well. So, if it's like on Saturdays, then we could do it. Like, there were a couple of times that you saw that I was with my friends. We went to the we went to our mall. They did, did community day together. We had a lot of fun together playing legit all kind of stuff. We got we talked with a few other players. But yeah. if if it were with the uh, research event day, then that would have been too hard though, because that would mean like either one of us get a shiny while the other one doesn't get a shiny. That that would be that would be that would be, that would be unfair for people that want it. And don't get it. I mean, it'll be you only have you only have a three hour block of getting it, and after that you won't be able to. <laughs> yeah, but uh, do you remember that that Feebas that shiny is available in the wild? That that is true. That was it. Yep, it's been it's been in the wild for a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, it, it, it's it's out right now because basically as soon as the uh, the research day event, that's that's when the Feebas shiny is out in the wild right now. The so, hardest one to find now is Taylor. Yeah, that one's a hard one. <laughs> they should they should do a one for him. So yeah, and so speaking about the um, Feebas being shiny in the wild, there was a little bit like a, the nice part about this event is that it had uh, players get an opportunity to get shiny Feebas out in the wild during the three hour block. So, what are your thoughts on that? That the uh, shiny Feebas can can be a tambo from the wild, uh, not not only just from the the research during the three hour block, like I. I know I heard that they released them, but I guess. Some people couldn't find them in the wild. That probably would have been a better if they just kind of released just him and got rid of all the rest of the, the basic Pokemon that everybody caught. That probably would have been easier. So you're saying similar with the uh, the Squirtle community day where they increase the spawn rate for Squirtle and have the research one focus around Squirtle. Yes. That would probably have been a lot better off than just doing the research and that was it. If they actually allow them to spawn. Yeah, I, of... yeah, I agree with you right there. That uh, Feebas, what we have to understand is that Feebas is pretty rare and you don't see it often in the wild. I think that I feel like similar with uh, Driftloom and Sableye where they are pretty rare to find. And that even though they're shiny, uh, is is available in the game. It's just, like I said, it's just very hard to get. I don't even, I'm not sure if I got a Driftloom from the Chinese. Maybe I can't remember if I did or not. That was a fun event too. Yeah. So, is there any other positive things that uh, you can think of that you re really liked about the event besides the ones we discussed? Mm, not, not off, head, head, not off my head, but it was good. I mean, it was, it was, it was challenging, which was a good thing. Yeah, that's a fun part about the game. It's it's a challenging part of trying to get the shiny. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a good part of it. It was challenging enough that you can because they they had three different tasks for it. They had make fifteen great throws, hatch an egg, and then walk your your Pokemon buddy. Yeah. So the during the uh, the Feebas day, there were a couple uh, Pokemon um, players that were not able to attain the shiny during the three hour block, and they had to get them from another player who had like more than just one shiny. So like uh, Mystic Seven, for example, he could not get a shiny Feebas at all, and had to get one from a friend of his who had more than just one. Uh, Trainer Tips, he only had was able to attain one uh, Pokemon Holly. I don't keep track because no offense, her video is a little boring. So Poke Girl. She could not attain a shiny at all. Jono only attained one, like, I believe, one shiny. Yes, I watched a couple of those videos. Mr. 7, he had a really tough time beating them. <laughs> I think he, I think his friend traded him one. Yeah, he, he traded him one. Yep. 
Yeah, pretty much. So next next month is the year of the pig. So when is it Chinese Wing Kingdom coming out? Yeah, it should be. But but and I'll go over that once uh the once Chinese Wing is uh, announced. Okay, cool. So for now, by the time we're in this video, the next community day event hasn't been announced yet. But there are speculations of Rolts being possibly be the next community day event um future Pokemon. The, the one that is involved in the carnivore. Not only that, Gallade, because of Gen 4. I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you it. <laughs> so yeah, and anyways, back about the, uh, the feedback day here. So, I feel like that we pretty much covered everything, and there's nothing else I can think of that needs to be addressed that... That are a lot of positive things. I feel like we cover everything. Even though many of you all here who are watching this video can argue and can say that the only positive thing you can just give up is, just, is that you got a shiny feedback, which is, which is partially true. But the other part of the that, that's really tr that you don't even know of is that I like this event because, like I already said, I like that it gave us idea that Knights could possibly do do this again, like next month and so forth. But we'll have to see of um, what Niantic has in mind for us. And that, that would bring the game more, more. I don't. I wouldn't say more popular, but it'll bring more people out to do it. Yeah, because um, I, I feel like it. Uh, releasing the research day event was kind of bad at this time period because of winter. Similar with the community day event because of a uh, because from a couple of days ago on a Saturday during the Feebas day, it was a pretty bad weather, bad weather storm or that kind of stuff. And it's like, I could not go outside because it was, it was way too cold. And plus the, the snow storm was pretty bad. Yes, agreed. So yeah, and hopefully uh, Niantic will be able to acknowledge some point about knowing that, oh yeah, that there's going to be a bad weather storm coming out. So we have to cancel this and uh, say this to some other day so that we can make up for it. Similar like what they did when, uh, they uh, canceled the Squirtle and Articuno day event for Japan, and they redid the special event here where players can get a chance to not only try to get shiny Articuno, but also shiny a Squirtle. Yeah, I remember that. That was good. Yeah. So that's all we got to cover for today's video. Now, let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the event here. Now, I know many of you guys are going to give negative opinions about this uh, event here, but I want to hear some positive things about this one because and I feel like that's what my channel needs, not negative or anything, just more positive things. Uh, what about you? I agree. It, I mean, people have their opinions. That's okay. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, more positive feedback would be better. That way... You can, you can tell people how it is, and then, yeah, I agree. Positive feedback is a good thing. Yeah. So, hope that you did enjoy today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up. Check out uh, our channel, subscribe bell, for more mm, gameplay videos. And we will see you all in the next video.